Today on Internet Marketing Pro, set the stage so that your employees know what is happening and why. Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Decker, and welcome to my Internet Marketing Pro podcast show. My shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and travel and adventure. Thank you for tuning into my show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to my show. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support. I also would like to make an announcement that I really appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting and what a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continually think of the next subject matter that I'd like to explore with you all. I'm also excited to announce that you also have been doing a great job in helping me get more subscribers by sharing my content with your social networks. My weekly newsletter that I send out helps because when people join my mailing list, they get the first instant of when my shows actually hit the RSS feeds. So if you want, go to my website, chaddecker.com, and subscribe to the mailing list so that you may get the latest announcement of when my show comes out or the latest articles and resources that I post that aren't included in this show. I am really happy to say that my weekly listener base is growing a great deal week after week, and that's the greatest payoff my listeners can do for me by giving back from my time and efforts in putting this show together. So let's get down to the nitty-gritty business uh, of the show. And like I do of all my last uh, 10 shows in this series... Because this series is called 10 Ways to Make Your Marketing More Effective in Tough Economic Times, I usually start from the top and work my way of what those 10 ways are to remind the listeners of what we've covered and any new listeners that are coming in on the first time of what we covered and what it's all about. And for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, this is not a sequ- this is a sequential series, but it's not so much that uh, one, you need to build up on two to three. So if you're coming in for the first time on the very last show in this series, it's ju- it's just, you know, it doesn't really matter what show you come in on. You can go back in the archives, download those shows, and review them yourself uh, because they're all re- relative to each other, but they're not. You can come in at any time, and it would be fine and listen to the show. So... Let's uh, move into what this show is all about, and that is setting the stage so that your employees know what is happening and why. And uh, you need to let uh, everyone in your organization know the reason for all this change. Change works the best when it's collaborative, and it's also an interactive process. You know, you need to share as much as you can with your staff about your finances and the problems your organization is facing and what likely to happen if you do nothing. In today's, you know, business climate, it's really smart to communicate uh, with your organization where you currently stand. If people don't know what it is, uh, like they what they do that's working versus what's not working, then how are they able to improve upon it or change the situation? So if you are a manager or an executive or a CEO, you need to keep that mindset of how to constantly optimize and improve your business. And in order to do so, you need to be able to communicate with your employees and letting them know the results of the efforts that they're putting forth. And the best way to do this, obviously, is having either one-on-one meetings or group collaborative meetings who are relatively involved in the action or process of marketing or or any of the things that we covered in these 10 ways uh, in your business. And you need to uh, share the results with them. If not, they're sharing them with you. But, uh, you know... Like most businesses, if you're in the marketing department, you normally don't know what the issues might be in, say, customer service or in the accounting department as far as oh, what's the total revenue. Even though you have the revenue, what are your margins and uh, you know, can we increase the budgets? So it's really important for you to let your employees know uh, what is going on. You know, Since this whole series is all about 
you know, 10 ways to make your marketing more effective in tough economic times. You know, if I'm talking about this particular uh, point of setting the stage so your employees know what's happening and why, finding your ideal prospect and you're working on that, for instance, which was our first show, you want to share uh, what your ideal prospect looks like. You need to share what that is after you've taken the time to uh, sit down and determine that. You need to also share with them what makes your different, you know, your business different than the competition. Also, if you've developed a new core message than what was uh, previously used, you need to get that information out and tell your employees that this is our core message. When someone asks you for an elevator speech, everybody should be saying the same thing. So ingrain that message in all your employees. Get everybody in sync and in line on the same team and build that synergistic flow by communicating. If uh, you're doing a... Um, like, for instance, the ADA formula uh, in your sales letters and direct response material, you need to communicate uh, what's getting uh, the attention and the interest and the desire and the action of the reader in your sales and direct marketing pieces and why you know those things are important or relative in getting the action that you want. Uh, when you're dealing with total Internet presence, you need to communicate what total internet presence is and why it's important and what your approach is in uh, executing total internet presence with your uh, employees or your organization and just you know getting everybody on the same page and if you're doing you know obviously referral marketing and you're getting into that particular area you want to work with your sales staff and establishing some type of I would say foundation or presence or, uh, uh, or um, benchmark to go by uh, in order to develop outside business or get people to refer business to you. So the idea is being able to communicate what the bigger picture is and getting everybody on your team thinking the same way, saying the same thing, doing the same thing to the ultimate goal and building synergistic movement coming down to your scheduling of your marketing or creating a sales system or you know just setting the stage so that everything comes together the way you want it and the you know like you said the, the way that happens is by making sure that all communication channels are open and flowing of, from yourself and through everybody in the organization that's relative to information that they need to know that's relative to what their job uh, or responsibility is that's about it that I have to cover on this show. This was uh, going to be a, a short show because it's the last one in this 10-part series. I really appreciate uh, my listeners, uh, you, uh, tuning into this show and uh, the 10-part the, the series that we did uh, on um, 10 innovative ways to make your marketing more effective in tough economic times. Uh, I plan on, uh, in the next few weeks, as far as new content is concerned, picking up uh, some new subject matter. I'm open to uh, anybody out there listening to send their feedback or comments to me as far as maybe answering some questions about marketing. Uh, if you have any problems, what are those problems so that I can get some ideas on shows to do. I have some interviews that I'm going to do uh, over the next few weeks. I haven't done very many of them. I think two or three since I started. So I'll be bringing that into play. And um, I also have uh, to make an announcement as far as uh, a new site that I've been working on and getting ready to launch. I felt a, there was a need after talking to several people and um, considering myself and how I like to consume information. Uh, it's a little tiresome to with the name with the way the search engines have changed. Um, and in order to find marketing information. Uh, I'm just tired of kind of searching and with the idea of total internet presence being an internet marketer, I decided to come up with a really cool idea of uh, building a news aggregation site for internet marketing, which would be considered total internet presence. And it's called ezinegenerator.com. So I invite you to visit a website called ezinegenerator.com. It is a membership site. It's free initially to join and get access to the vast majority of resources that it provides for members. I have it as a membership site because I want to know and 
regulate who's obviously getting in there. I don't want to just give it for free and not get something back in return. So I want to know who my users are and I want to be able to build a relationship and a community around it. So what, check it out. It's a really cool service and what it allows you to be able to do as a marketer is look at the industry and marketing from 80,000 feet. Like I said, as far as total internet presence covers, you know, everything from search to uh, building the marketing platform to analytics to content, you name it, everything to do with internet marketing, all broken down category by category with thousands of RSS feeds of top websites providing articles and information that you can scan hundreds of them relative to a particular aspect of total internet presence within minutes. Like, without only staying on a one single page. And then not only that, we've got reviews of great products. We have seminars and webinars where you can look over the shoulder of people actually, you know, doing something like a media buy or how to set up an autoresponder or other things like um, great products and services to use that are the new innovative ways to get some of these things done. Uh, we also have special promotions with these uh, service providers where we get you extended discounts than what the normal public would get. So there's a lot of really cool things that we provide uh, of resources for the marketer uh, in this uh, new website called ezinegenerator.com. So, I'm really pleased to say that I announced uh, ezinegenerator.com. It's always a work in progress, but uh, there's enough really great stuff there to get your feet wet and uh, get started in using a really cool service. So, if you like my show, please consider subscribing to it, which you can do by visiting my website, Chad Deckard, or ezinegenerator.com. Or if you are an iTunes or Stitcher Smart Radio listener, take it with you wherever you go on your mobile device. If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to my show. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support because you are what makes this show a success. Well, that's about it for this show. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. This is Chad Deckard signing off. Goodbye for now.